each time that we do baptism, I'd like to be able to share with you exactly what it is you're going to be seeing. And so let me just take a minute and explain to you a little bit about baptism. All right. I think it's just to settle and face this way. Um, baptism is what we call a sacrament, which means it's a very special and holy moment. And it is a time when the Spirit does some special things in our heart. And we want people to always understand that baptism is an outward symbol of what God has done inside of our heart. So in the moment that we are baptized, we are not saved from sin. In being baptized, we are telling the world that we have been saved from sin. Nod your head if you're with me tonight. That's what we're saying. So these people who come in, they've already sat in our class and recognized that what they're doing tonight is a chance to tell the world what Christ has done in their heart and that they've given their heart to Christ. And so they're going to testify to that tonight as we baptize. Lord Jesus, we just thank you for this amazing sacred moment, this sacrament that we enter into. And God, may these 10 people, as well as all of us who have been baptized, live a life that is the new life, that is a lie that has come to us through Jesus Christ and what you've done. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, let's begin. You love this microphone. Eh? You're <laughs> looking forward to this moment. So. Don't I get questions? You don't, because you, you got that little slip in your hand because you want to share your story. <laughs> and we want to hear your story. This baptism is my outward gesture for my inward grace that I feel with the commitment, faith, and growth in Jesus Christ.
this, this is, all these people are afraid of this microphone. Look, yes. you know, you don't even, if you drop it in the water, you don't have to be afraid of it, okay? It's, it's only got nine volts. It ain't going to hurt us, all right? All right, this is Christy. Christy, share with us. This baptism is an outward symbol of my love for Jesus Christ and knowing that what it feels to walk away from God and being brought back to that. This pat baptism means that, you know, I want to follow Christ for the rest of my life, and I know that he's forgiven me for my sins. Thank you. Right, so you've heard from Ben and Christy. Now, this is Delaney Kidwell. Amen. This baptism means that I want to follow Christ for the rest of my life, and um, I want to be in heaven with him someday. Amen. 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 Baptism means that I want to walk by Christ for the rest of my life.
this baptism means to me that I'm accepting Jesus as my Savior. I'm going to walk with him for every day until I die and go up with him. Most people, they don't believe in things that they can't see, but they believe in things they can feel, and the Holy Spirit is in my heart, and I feel that, and in this place, I feel the Holy Spirit now, and I feel it when I come in, and I feel it at home, and I feel it anywhere. Anywhere I am, I feel it because of my life group, my pastor and his teachings, because of this church the hugs, and just all the warmth and the prayers that is always giving, the support that we have. I am just so grateful, and I'm going to run after God and follow him for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name. How's everyone doing tonight? Uh, I try to keep it short and sweet, but as I started to write it, um, it got a little long, so just bear with me. Um, <laughs> it says, I grew up in a Catholic home, going to Catholic schools as a child. As I grew older, I became separated from Christ. I've had a relatively good life, um, but not too long ago, I went through a tough time with a difficult end to a relationship. This made me question the way I was living my life. With the support of close friends in the church, I've rekindled my relationship with God and Jesus Christ. This very moment is an example of my life, what my life is like with Christ. In the past, I would have ran for the door or had a panic attack standing in front of you guys. <laughs> but instead, I stand before all of you professing my commitment and faith in Jesus Christ. <clears throat> there are two different truths we have to understand in our lives. First, being we have to trust God explicitly. God will never turn away from us. If we let him, he will make us happy and successful. Second, we will face many trials that will hurt us deeply, and in those deepest moments of despair, we must remind ourselves that we will not turn away from him as he who loves us most. I can attest personally that in my darkest hours, he did not turn away, but delivered me a new life. Today, I live my life on God's inspiration. I wanted to be baptized today to demonstrate my commitment to my walk with Jesus Christ, and as an affirmation that no matter how difficult life seems, I will never turn away again. <laughs> 